Hey there guys and welcome to the second part of the Fedora Guides video. And we are going to be pimping this thing out. In other words, we're going to be making it not look like normal GNOME crap and actually giving it some style and making it so your workflow uh, doesn't always constantly involve going up into the left hand corner and clicking activities and then searching and so on and so on. We're going to attach all the important stuff in a doc. And it sort of goes with how I did it in Antragos, but Fedora, you know, there's different commands for grabbing different things. So the first thing we're going to do is... Now this is going to give you the ability to install certain extensions from Chrome or Chromium, whichever one you really use. We are going to be using Chrome, however. That will grab the RPM, and next we're going to have to go grab Chrome. So this was from when I installed OBS. So first things first, hit Chrome, download now, and I believe you already know what to click. We use an RPM because we're not on easy Linux. Open software and install. That easy. You can actually do this with most applications if you need to. We'll take a look more at the software center in the next video, but this is the first application we'll install. Unable to. I don't care because Chrome isn't installed, so. Ah, for the love of God. Okay, so installing Chrome is going to be an issue because a package called Bash is already installed. So, I'm going to do Wow. So, DNF is currently the issue with installing Chrome. So, we're going to do the next pex thing. Chromium Problem solved. There we go. Chrome libs, Chrome common. It's uh, a bit crazy that that would not install just because of a certain package. Uh, by the way, your terminal will not come transparent like this. You actually have to make it transparent. And uh, I guess I could show you that. That's technically part of the video because well, it's important. You go to colors and you click transparent background and then you choose what you want. Um, we're going to make this like that so it's easier to read. <laughs> so there, we've got Chromium installed. We can now exit out of this. And we are going to have to go and get a certain application. So click search and we're going to grab tweak. Oh, the hell. Okay, give me a second. I think the software center is a bit empty. Let's try that again. Gnome. Tweak? No? No tweak tool for Fedora 28? I know we installed Fedora 27, but I had to go upgrade to Fedora 28 for certain reasons. Wow. I'm actually surprised. I don't know what they actually call it in Terminal, but we'll find out. So... Well, there you go. That's how you install it. <laughs> Learn something new every day. It's strange that it wouldn't add it. So this is your tweak tool. This is different than the original tweak tool. Wow. Uh, image background. Zoom. Lock. Oh, there's a lot of new stuff here. We're going to be concentrating mostly on um, this area, OK? so. Just right click this and add to favorites for now. So let's get Chromium open. Chromium. Okay, so Chromium is open. And the first thing that we need to do is go to GNOME extensions. And uh, that's one we're going to need. That's our dash to dock. 
we are going to want to pimp out the way this looks, so we are going to need user themes. Um, we already have extensions. Open weathers for your weather, of course. And yeah, we are going to want to disable that because that's honestly the most annoying thing in the universe. So let's begin. Usually I grab something for sound. Because over here, I like to control things a little bit better and have more settings. So that's what that's for. The next thing, I like to get rid of the arrows because they don't look very nice. I like having a system monitor because I like viewing everything overhead to make sure my CPU, GPU, everything like that is good. We're also going to grab system info just because I did just notice it exists. And uh, what else do we need? All right. The transparent GNOME panel because that looks annoying. Ooh, glassy, huh? I don't know. We'll look at it. Another thing we're going to need is called Freon, because most uh, gamers like to watch their temps and their CPU frequency to make sure that it's handling itself properly. Okay? So, that's pretty much everything that I usually install, and I know it looks like a lot of stuff, a lot of bloat, but let's be honest, you're not going to see any of it on the desktop. So, user themes, open weather, no hot left corners, mm -hmm. and the final thing we're going to be installing, I'll show you in a second. So that's sound. So now our sound panel is normal. Remove drop down arrows, those are gone now. System monitor is going to appear right up top, right there. System info. This is going to be an error. I figured that would happen. We're going to wait for this one. I'm going to look at this one. Uh, prevent snam, log into GNOME. Wait, do we got something glassy going on? Like, did they glass everything? Glassed everything except for the thing I wanted, which was that. Well, I'm going to keep that. That looks kind of interesting. So that's going to add your temperatures. We're actually going to on-click maximum, on-click average. We're going to click temp1 because that's GPU and average is your CPU. And once again, CPU frequency, which is going to end up right there. What's this do? Interesting. All right, so the last thing we're going to grab is arc because most users that come from Windows are used to a little thing called a startup menu or a start menu. So now we have one. All right, so we can exit now. And none of our settings have been entered in. And there we go. So we can click tweak now. That's not tweak. Tweak. There we go. So now we're able to have a shell uh, icon. We can switch this to dark, default, whatever. So let's start here at the dock. So bottom, I like to put it in between 32 and 48 now. Uh, launcher should definitely be moved to this side because it's a lot better for behavior-wise. And then we're going to shrink the dash. Get it all nice and tiny. You don't have to have it that tiny. If you want, you can go back. Don't do not do what I'm doing, okay? We're going to have adaptive. And turn that on. There we go. And you can also force straight corners if you want. It's up to you. All right, so the next thing that we need to mess with is Freon. Bring that to 1. Put that in the center. Depending on your graphics card, NVIDIA or AMD. We still haven't changed that from Catalyst though. So now your temperatures are over here. Glassy Gnome. That is just an interesting thing that it does, making everything slightly transparent all over. That is annoying. Next, we're going to mess with open weather. So add your weather service. Type in your place of living. And I live in there check out your units. I don't live in a foreign 
uh, third world outdated country like literally 99% of the world so we're gonna change that to Celsius and yes now we're default we have a big snowstorm coming today so I have to stop recording by at least 1250 and get out the door all right I think we pretty much got everything handled well so far so uh, we just have to tweak one more friggin thing one more thing go away there we go so there we have it this is your nice little pimped out thing so now I'm gonna show you where to put your themes at 10 minute video but who cares we're gonna show you where to put your themes you're gonna put your theme in here create a dot themes folder you can't see it hit control H now that we're in we're gonna keep this here put this over here and then we're gonna go and open up a new window because trust me having a dock having all your favorite stuff in the dock like add to favorites okay and then having the dock organized it's very very important uh, for your workflow even for gaming it's super important because let's be honest you want to have everything in reach of where you need it to be so is this the discord that opens sorry I have to check uh, yes it is okay we're gonna put that on that side so as you can see I'm adding all my stuff to favorites and I'm moving it over we're not done we still have to have icons okay but first we are going to actually have to jump into themes we're grabbing all of this because these are the themes that I use and we're gonna paste them in now this is how you check progress okay pretty cool and once it's done the little pac-man will no longer have its mouth open so open your tweak again and I'm gonna put on Arctic twice oh look at that change oh that's like your eyes just light up <clears throat> now the reason why I did this one is because it provides depth I like depth more than anything I mean this has depth and it honestly just looks damn well good so I'm gonna go grab um, a picture that I like from my Windows desktop of course user me you could do the same real quick while we're waiting I think it's in new folder and sorry I have a lot of pictures like a lot of pictures set as wallpaper there we go so we have that set up and ready to go we have a wallpaper we have everything pimped out um, as you can clearly see right temperatures gigahertz last thing to do is install that gonna go back to zero power save performance preferences remember settings on that way you don't have to keep doing it over and over again all right so we're good we are done now we just have to do the icons um, now I have to remember the command for the icons in terminal so I think it's sudo install numix circle I screwed up on the word circle didn't I oh god darn it nope alright I have to go figure out what it is uh, some days I just remember I want to remember certain commands you know so numix circle icons fedora's right there so it's numix icon theme circle that is just overly complicated 34 megabytes total install size all right now you're probably noticing there's no minus or any sort of buttons there we're about to deal with that in just a second okay 
So icons, circle. There, now they're all pimped out. Ah, I like that they do that. All right, so go to Windows and turn this one on this one. I like mine on the left. And there you go. Now you have minimized and maximized and all that stuff. And we are done. We are actually done. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the second video. And this one is how to make things look nice. And things are nice and organized now. The next one, we're going to show you how to install certain applications like Discord using a program that's called FlatHub. So see you in the next one.